Hey, what's up guys? It's Nick White. Uh, I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube and everything is in the description. I do all of the lead code problems. I have a ton of them up, so go check those out if you want these explained to you. Uh, this is called Hand of Straits. So Alice has a hand of cards given as an array of integers. As you can see, a hand is this array of integers. Uh, she wants to rearrange the cards into groups so that each group is of size W and consists of W consecutive cards. So remember consecutive. Return, tr return true if and only if she can. So if W is 3 and we have this as the array, we would return true because Alice can rearrange the cards as three groups of three. One, two, three, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. And they all have to be consecutive numbers. So basically, the goal in this is... Um, this doesn't look sorted right here, but we're gonna need our elements to be sorted. So we're basically gonna have these elements sorted. We're gonna store the counts of them um, and have them sorted. And we're going to loop through and make sure that we can have these consecutive small subarrays kind of filled up uh, as we loop through a data structure that holds them all in a sorted order. And we would go from uh, smallest uh, index to largest index and uh, we're going to use a tree map to do that so we would use a hash map but hash map doesn't really keep order so we have to use a tree map in this case so um, it is a little weird but it's all good so we'll just call this car card counts is equal to new tree map and you'll kind of see how this comes together so we have a tree map here and then we're going to loop through the card so for int card in hand sorry just gonna um, then we're going to check, much like other hash map problems, if card counts dot contains key of card, if card counts doesn't contain key of card actually, we're gonna check if it's not in the tree map ever, we're looping through the cards. If the current card is not in the tree map, we're gonna do card counts dot uh, put uh, card, so the current index um, along, so card will be the index, the number will be the index along with, um, yeah, card will be the index because it's looping through, and then um, along with one, if we haven't seen it before and it's not in there, sorry, it took a second to remember, and then otherwise it's already in there, so we just have to replace the count of it with um, card counts dot get, we'll get it. And add one to it. So now we just increment the count. All right, so that's it. Now we have our ordered set of card counts. Uh, and now all we have to do down here is while card counts dot size is greater than zero. So while the size of our data structure that holds everything is greater than zero, uh, we're going to first get our first card uh, is equal to card counts dot uh, first key. So we get our first card from this data structure, and then we do uh, another loop where we set i to first card. Uh, i is less than first card plus w, So and then i plus plus. So this loop, what this does is we, as we go through our sorted data structure, um, we're going to pull these cards out, and then we're creating our little, this inner loop is going to create each individual subarray, kind of. So we're going to be checking our first card and adding W, which is the size we need to it. So each time we're going to be able to do this. If uh, card counts dot contains doesn't contain the current card, so if it doesn't contain I, we return false, right? I is going to be the current card that we need to have a cons keep our consecutive order in the subarray. So I would be two and then three. I is gonna be two. If it was two here, then we would check for three and four. I is just gonna give us that number that we need next uh, because we just add W to it and we're looping up to the, what we, the initial card plus W's value. So we're gonna be checking all along the way and get those consecutive numbers. Um, so if it doesn't, we return false. Otherwise, all we have to do is grab that count. So int count is going to be card counts uh, dot get uh, i. We get that current count. If count is equal equal to one, then we can do card counts. Then we have to remove it because we're using it in one of the subarrays. 
we have to remove it from the data structure so we don't run into it again. Um, card counts dot remove. If there's only one of them left, then we saw it. We'll just remove it right from the card counts data structure. Else, we'll do what we did at the top and we'll do card counts dot replace. But instead of incrementing this time, we're decrementing card with card counts dot gets um, i minus one. So that's pretty much it. And then all we have to do is return true down here if we made it through everything. Hopefully this works first try. Uh, it doesn't work first try because we are not using a card anymore. That was at the top. We're using i now. And there we go. Works there uh, perfectly. So uh, yeah, we just have a data structure. We store everything in a sorted order. That's why we don't use a hash map. Um, and we store the count of it. And then later on down below, as we build our subarrays, we go through that data structure and it's nice that it is a tree map so we had it in sorted order so that we can do this loop right here where um, and we're pulling things out of the data structure now and to use them in these subarrays we're going through this inner loop and building them to the perfect size because we're just going right up to the card value that we currently pull plus W and checking that each consecutive card exists right here and if it doesn't, we return false. And if we make it through all that, we return true because we can make all of these subarrays the exact size that we need them to be. So that's pretty much it for the um, hand of straights problem on leak code. Uh, thank you guys very much. Uh, hopefully I did a good job of explaining that. Let me know in the comments below if you have any suggestions for improvements and stuff like that. Uh, check out the other videos because I'm making a ton of these and I'm doing all of them. So all right, I'll see you guys in a little bit.